The team that I love, the Western Sydney Wanderers, are an absolute mess at the moment. And not just at the moment, for the past six years. It has been six years since the Wanderers made the A-League Finals, and after sacking another coach in Carl Robinson, it just feels like we have no idea on where we're headed. At the time of recording, we currently sit second last in the A-League this season, and it looks as if our finals drought is going to continue. So today I'm taking over my favorite club, the Western Sydney Wanderers with a twist. The objective of this series is to take a team to Champions League glory. Pause right there. Today, we're doing it with a difference. Yes, we want to win the Champions League title, but to complete today's Western Sydney rebuild, we need one Asian Champions League title and three a-League titles. All games barring the Champions League final will be simulated. The jump in feature cannot be used during simulations. And a warning, don't get butt hurt if I sell your favorite player. So here is the default starting 11 that FIFA 22 career mode has given us. A few changes I definitely want to make to this squad, but the thing is, I, if you follow me on Twitter, you would know how much of an optimist I was for this season because on paper, this team is not bad at all. Terry Antonis, Hamed has killed it at Wellington last year. This team like is not bad at all. We should be doing a lot better than 11th. I mean, we have bloody Jack Rodwell who's been killing it since he came. So let's get into the transfer business and see what we can do here with the Wanderers. Going to make an addition to the left-hand side of the midfield to kick things off. Here it is, the Kiwi Wonder Kid. Want to get a little bit of Oceana talent into the squad. Elijah Just is joining us here for 1.4 million pounds from FC Tokyo. Meanwhile, we end the rocky road in the relationship the Wanderers and veteran Jan Yedovic has had as we send him to Crew Alexandria. Also going to sign another left winger here, but I am going to convert him to the right-hand side of the wing. It is one of my favorite players from the Australian national team, Awel Mabil. The Sudanese-born winger is joining us here from SC Mitterland for one million pounds. And we are going to send the former Wanderers ball boy, Daniel Wilmering, on a season-long low move to New York City FC. Not a bad move, that one. Going from Blacktown to the Bronx. So a fairly tame start to life in charge of the Wanderers. A fair few players I wanted to sell, but just couldn't get many deals over the line. I have changed up the formation from the default 4-4-2 starting formation to this 4-5-1 formation. Hopefully can do us some wonders. Reese Williams joining the back line, unfortunately injured for the remainder of the season. I was at that game away against Melbourne City when he did it. It was sad to see. Hemed up top, Rodwell into the squad, Dimi Petrados into the squad. This team could be absolutely class. See, this is more like it. This is more like it, lads. This is what I thought the season would be like for us. You've got Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City who are killing it in real life. But the Wanderers, after only eight games played, but on the 1st of January, we're top of the league with just one loss. Why couldn't this be real life? Also, because I have been playing Mobile as the starting right midfielder, Ogawa is headed back to his home team in Yokohama. We're also going to sell James Troisi to the Norwegian League here. Tom Hamed is leaving the club on a free transfer at the end of the season. I've got to say, I met this guy a few weeks ago at like midnight outside of a casino in Melbourne after the Melbourne City away day. He was the nicest footballer I might have ever met. Spoke to me and my friends for like a solid 15 minutes. I saw him at Sydney Airport the next day when we got home. Said hello to me there, remembered us. Absolute legend, wanted to keep him at the club, but unfortunately, Gamba Osaka gets him. Also, we're gonna ship out Thomas Aquilina on a two year low move to the second division in Spain. This transfer might ruffle a few feathers. Now, one of my strongest standpoints with this Wanderers side is that Dama Traore is just not the guy. Dama Traore is a dead set liability. So I wanted to get ourselves a new left back into the squad. And I've gotten a little bit of, I've gotten one over our rivals in Sydney FC. They have only just sold Joel King to Odense in real life. We're going to bring him back to the A-League and make him a Wanderer. So, we're trying to get ourselves our first of three A-League titles in this rebuild. We have qualified directly to the semi-finals. Sydney FC and Western Sydney, we top the table alongside Sydney, although they top the table. We also qualify for the semis, but I would love a Sydney derby in the A-League final. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the table, no surprise to see the Jets, the Raw, and the Mariners all down there. There's not going to be a Sydney derby in the final because neither of us made it. It's going to be a Melbourne derby as the victory are taken on Western United. 
What an upset. And just like many people predict in real life this season, it is Melbourne victory being crowned A-League champions. And because the way the season works, the Asian Champions League has not been decided for this season, but we weren't even in it yet. So there we go, season one with the Wanderers done and dusted. I mean, we broke the final streak, but in the most Wanderers way possible, just absolutely let down all of our expectations once we got to the finals. Let's crack on with season two. Since we have lost Tom Ahmed in this second season, I have decided to sign a new striker. I'm going to sign somebody I've never heard, and that's the beauty of doing an A-League career mode. I can go out there and sign players I probably would never sign in general and turn them into absolute heroes, and I'm hoping that is going to be the case here for the Dutch striker, Joel Swartz, joining us here from Regensburg for 2.5 mil. I've also decided to sign a free agent backup goalkeeper here in Harry Lewis, who is joining us on a free. No, not Rhoda Shaw. And we are going to part ways with Bernie Abini, who is off to Constanta for 440k. Speaking of 440k, we haven't hit that in subscribers yet, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. I might have just broken a record for how many times I said subscribe in one sentence. Ziggy Gordon. Sometimes criminally underrated, sometimes an absolute liability, but this Scotsman is headed to the Kashima Antlers in the J-League. Meanwhile, a man that has been an absolute stud for us in real life, unfortunately, like I said last season, injured for the remainder of the season, but I have decided to cash in on Reese Williams, who is off to Kawasaki Frontal. And we are going to get some more young Australian blood into the starting 11 as Dennis Genral is joining us here. He had his move to the French League at Toulouse, but he is back in the A-League and he is signing with us here at Western Sydney. Again, another guy that I don't necessarily want to sell, but it makes sense financially. It makes sense for the squad. Terry Antonis off Turkey. Same thing, as I said, with Terry Antonis. Jack Rodwell, honestly, is the only thing giving me life with this Western Sydney Wanderers squad in real life. Jack Rodwell has been an absolute gun. Please, Western Sydney board, please re-sign Jack Rodwell for next season. But in this rebuild, we're not doing that. Purely from a squad numbers perspective, I'm gonna promote Marek Kaspar, this random Czech kid in our youth academy to the senior team. I had to do it, lads. I had to do it. I wanted to sign a backup striker, I was looking at the free agents, and when Mitchell Duke is available as a free agent, you're bloody well signed him. Mitch Duke, welcome back. His third term at the Wanderers, his third spell at the Wanderers, the former club captain rejoining us. So we started season two here with a lot more action than we started season number one. It is all happening here in Parramatta, in Blacktown. And now let's go see if we can get the results to match it. Just a little update on the squad as well. I have dropped Steven Ugarkovic and put Keanu Bacchus into the starting lineup, starting lineup. Zwartz is in there. The team's looking good. Need some growth in the defense, but besides that, I'm happy with the progress so far. But just quickly, lads, whilst we wait for our simulation, we are going to do our NBA Pick'em Picks. I'm super excited to be partnering with the NBA to talk about NBA Pick'em. If you guys already didn't know, I am a massive NBA fan. I'm a diehard Celtics fan. So to be working with the NBA is an absolute dream. NBA Pick'em is a daily competition where you answer questions related to those days' games. And they're honestly some mouth-watering prizes up for grabs that I'm honestly jealous about. There is a trip for two to the 2023 All-Star Game. Also, weekly prize pools of $1,000 in NBA merch. Warriors versus Mavs, which team will make three-pointers? Come on, bro. Come on. When you've got Steph, you've got Clay, the Splash Bros. We're going Warriors. Helps me to sign into my account first. Nuggets versus Pistons, which team will grab more rebounds? I mean, when you've got Jokic, the MVP, you've got to go Nuggets. Which team will score first? I mean, again, I'm going to say Jokic wins the tip-off and gets the first bucket or maybe gives it out to Gordon or somebody for the first bucket. Then we're gonna go across here, Raptors versus Hornets. Which team will have more assists? I mean, I am a diehard Scary Terry fan. Terry Rozier, he was one of my favorite players when he played at Boston. So just for the, that fact, 
I'm going to go the Hornets. They've got the mellow ball as well. I mean, NBL's finest. I've got to go the Celtics for this one here. Got to go Celtics. My favorite team's taking on the Kings. Marcus Smart is going to get steal after steal. Clippers versus Wizards. Which team will have more show, block more shots? I'm going to oh, I'm gonna say Clippers now, but that's one of the hardest ones I've had to answer today. Got to go yes. When you've got the, the players that the Clippers do, you've got to go yes. I'm going to go the Nets. I mean, as much as I love Russell Westbrook, he does give away a few turnovers. Got to think about this one. I'm going to go the Spurs for now, but again, that one challenges me. I might go T-Wolves here. I'm going to go T-Wolves. But again, those like a couple of these have really challenged me. So lads, make sure you get involved in NBA Pick'em as well. I mean, those prizes are incentive enough, but this is genuinely fun. Currently sitting fourth in the A-League here on the 1st of January. Still only early, but Western United currently undefeated to start the season. All right, lads, I want to do a little bit of an upgrade to the defense here. We're actually going to bring Gianni Stensness back to Australian football, back to the A-League as we sign him from Viking FK for 1.3 million pounds. And the way that the Asian Champions League calendar lines up to the A-League, that means we are just now starting our group stages here for season two of the Asian Champions League. Reminder, we need one Asian Champions League and three A-League titles to complete this rebuild. So I would be over the moon if we could get ourselves deep in the Champions League in our first attempt. For the first time since that famous Champions League winning campaign in 2014, the Wanderers are back in the knockout rounds of the Asian Champions League. You love to see it. But we have got a massive challenge ahead of us in the quarterfinals as we head to Japan. Why do I say it like that? Japan. I'm so posh. Japan. As we take on Kawasaki Frontal. We have made it in to the finals for a second straight season. Last year's grand finalists, Melbourne Victory and West United are the top two, but we have come in third, meaning we'll face MacArthur in a Western slash Southwest Sydney derby. It's nice to see Sydney FC and Melbourne City falling down a little bit. We have beaten MacArthur in the elimination finals on to the semis for the second straight year. The top two teams are out of the A-League Finals, and we are gonna be versing the Wellington Phoenix in the A-League Final. For the first time in club history, the toilet seat is ours. I have traveled around Australia watching us lose A-League Final after A-League Final after A-League Final in real life. But now we get ourselves a toilet seat. So that is season number two done and dusted. That is one A-League title ticked off. Now let's go see what we can do in season three, maybe a Champions League. We have a good history at the Wanderers of getting Japanese attacking midfielders, AKA Shinji Ono and turning them into stars. I'm hoping Lightning can strike twice here as we sign Yoshio Kazumi from the Urara Reds for 2.6 million pounds. And alas, we are gonna part ways with Dimi Petrados, who is off to Guadalajara for 1.85 million pounds. That is not bad. I have a lot of time for Daniel Margouche. I'm gonna be honest, I think he should be the starting goalkeeper for the Wanderers in real life. We've given him a few seasons in this rebuild, but now we are sending him to Coventry City. Again, just like with our strikers, Warts, I wanted to find another goalkeeper that I probably would never use generally. So I've signed the Northern Irish goalkeeper, Luke Southwood, from Reading for 3.3 million pounds. It feels weird getting ready for the Champions League knockout rounds when we're still in the summer transfer window, but regardless, we're gonna pack our bags, head off to Japan as we take on Kawasaki Frontal here. Gonna get into the away leg and the scoreline is a 2-1 loss. That is not ideal in the slightest. The Shima and Chinen getting goals for them, Mobile getting the goal for us. The thing that I don't know because, look at this, we dominated the shots as well. But the thing I don't know is do away goals still count in FIFA 22 in the Asian Champions League? I'm kind of hoping so at this point. But that is the transfer window done and dusted. Some big business into the side and some decent players out. So we are out of the transfer window and we are back at Combank Stadium, back in Parramatta, back in front of the RBB. If this was real life, you'd probably find me at this game. I'd probably be behind the goals right now, but we're getting into it. Simulating against Kawasaki Frontal, and we don't even have to care about away goals rule because we are through the Champions League semis 
3-1 in the second leg. Yokohama, is that... I feel like that is Ange Postacoglu or Kevin Musket's former sides. I feel like... I, I know it's one of their former teams they used to manage. But we are taking on Yokohama in the Champions League semi-final. Once again here, lads, we are on the road for this first leg. Headed to Japan once again. We're getting our frequent flyer, Miles Zappi with Qantas. As we are going to simulate the first leg. And just... Like in the last games, it is a 2-1 loss. I am hoping we get the same second leg, just making it a lot tighter of a game though, getting the goal in the 90th minute. Come on lads, we absolutely dominated Kawasaki Frontal in the second leg at home in the quarterfinals. Can we do it again to another Japanese op opponent at Combank Stadium? Simulating, and it's a 1-0 win, which means... Away goals rule must still be in the Asian Champions League in FIFA 22, which means, thank the Zwarts, we're headed to a Champions League final. This is just history repeating itself. History repeats itself. When we won the Champions League in 2014, we versed Al Halal in one of the craziest games of football I've ever seen. And now, in the 2023 Asian Champions League final, nine years later, we verse another Saudi club in Al Itihad. two legs like it is in real life but here we are Combank Stadium it's do or die as the Wanderers take on Al Itihad step overs just trying to get ourselves in a good position here good touch there going in here it's Kazumi going to Bacchus Bacchus the captain off the left boot I do not want to concede here just defending honestly I don't really know any of these players they go for the shot what a save from Southwood how is he held on to that one Bloody Spider-Man. Flick it. Yes. Come on. Oh. Oh, get oh, what are you doing, Swartz? We were through. How are you falling on your ass? Just don't give them anything here. Defending. It's been a back and forth game. Not good defending there from King as they get in behind. They get the run in. Oh, my God. Southwood again. This dude's a gun. Flick it. Yes. Come on. We're killing him down this left-hand side. Denny, go in there, do just. Just. Good ball. Zwartz. Zwartz, we've got to do a better header than that, man. Do not let them get anything before half time. I honestly would have taken the foul there. Oh, that was, that was a great tackle. They go for the... Oh, what the... F this keeper's on roids. Come on, defend. This has been an absolute arm wrestle here. Don't let them get anything. They got the guy outside. Thank God they didn't go. They go there. Southwood again. This dude is saving us. This is Ante Kovic 2014 all over again. So this game has been an absolute arm wrestle, especially in the second half. I'm going to bring off Swartz and see if Mitchell Bloody Duke can be our Champions League hero. So there's been no goals as of yet. It's nil nil and we're headed to extra time. Oh, it's a good ball from them. Get back Stensness. Get it away, Tate. Good stuff there from Tate Russell. Bit too heavy though. Defending again. Defending again. Russell's just jockeying. Don't let them get any shot off. They still get the shot off. And Southwood is there again. All right, we're getting towards the second half of extra time here. I'm going to bring off Koizumi and bring on Rami Najarine. I don't know if this is the right call, but we're going to do it. Yes, nice ball. Mobile. I see people center. Oh, thought that we had it. Oh, intercepted. Come on. Jinria holding it up. Duke. Going. Oh, how's he saved that? Oh, how's he saved that? I thought we had the winner at the death. Nobody wants to score. Both keepers have been heroes. But for the Champions League final, we're off to penalties. We've got Mitch Duke taking the first penalty here, lads. Right in front of the RBB. 
Going top corner. We miss it! I forget I'm playing with 60 rate. Oh shit, they're taking it quickly. They're taking it quickly. They hit the post! Everybody's allergic to scoring! Okay, I need to remember I'm playing with A-League players, not with Ronaldo or Messi. We yellow time it and we get it in the back of the net. We were so lucky they hit the post. We're going to go again. And it's saved from Southwood! Oh my god. However, Bill. Come on, this would be a massive advantage. It's a big circle. Mabil Green beams it. Come on, lads. Oh my god. Alhamdulillah. Up against Southwood. Is going to send him the wrong way. That's a class penalty. Come on, lads. We just need to keep scoring ours. Remy Nazarene, the man off the bench. It's saved. Oh no. We need to save this one. Although it's a tired game all over again. He puts it over. We guessed the right way, but he puts it over. If we score this... I think we win. I think we win if we score this. Denny. Denny. Scores it and we win the Champions League final for the second time in Western Sydney Wanderers history. We are Asian Champions League winners. The only club in Australian football to win the Asian Champions League. Champions of Asia. You'll never see that. Let's go, lads. Let's go. We've got a Champions League, we've got an A-League, but the rebuild is not over. Two A-League titles to go. Enjoy the tale of the celebrations, and then we get back in to Season 3. God, that is absolutely beautiful to see. Champions of Asia once again. I dream for the day though. Like, I, I love Asian football. I reckon it's super underrated. I dream of the day where the full Champions League in Asia is licensed in FIFA with a proper format. We are on the hunt for a second successive A-League title on the 1st of January. We sit one point behind Perth in second. Gonna sign another backup striker here. Mitch Duke is starting to go down in overall. And I just wanna make sure, like we don't have a crazy amount of money to spend. So I just wanna solidify the squad moving forward. Jordan Murray is back to the A-League. The former Mariner is joining us for 900,000 pounds. Minor premiers once again, and we are surely, surely on track for a second successive A-League title. What a rotation Western United and Melbourne Victory have had. They were in the grand final in season one, and now in season three, they are bottom of the league. That is how fickle the A-League is. We beat the Central Coast Mariners, and we are in to a second successive A-League final against MacArthur. Oh my God. That would have been an absolutely ridiculous final for all, and we lose on a penalty shootout. Are you kidding me? Also, I don't know why 
But as you can see going through the groups, we're not in the Champions League this season. We won the A-League last season and won last year's bloody Asian Champions League. But we didn't get put into the group stages. Is this because we finished third in the A-League and they only give it to the top two teams? Also, it is time for us to say goodbye to Mitchell Duke once again. He's not leaving for the Japanese League or Saudi Arabia this time. He is retiring from professional football. I thought this was going to be the year where he pushed for the final A-League title to complete the rebuild. But now, we desperately need to make sure we actually get our second A-League title. I am sparing no expenses. 5.4 million pounds, a club record to sign Adriel Valua, the Ivorian midfielder from Lech Poznan. We're also gonna send Steven Yugarkovic off to the French League as he's off to Clermont Foot. And Jordan Swebel is staying in the A-League. He's gone from Sydney FC to Western Sydney, now to Brisbane. Not a bad bench signing here. Aiden O'Neill, the former Burnley player in the Premier League, is joining us here on our bench from Melbourne City for 2.3 mil. Another transfer window done and dusted. We make the necessary acquisitions to the squad. Let's go see if we can set ourselves up for another A-League Finals run, please. So far, so good. Although we've seen that the start of the season, eight games really means nothing. But haven't lost the game yet, which is a good sign. Don't have a crazy amount of money to spend, but we are going to sign a backup left midfielder here behind just as we sign Thiago Andrade, the Brazilian midfielder from New York City FC. I don't believe it. Oh my God. Western Sydney have gone invincible in the A-League season. Step aside, Ange Postacoglu's Brisbane Roar. There is another invincible in the A-League. Zero losses, 70 points. We finish 30 points ahead of Sydney FC. I swear, if we don't win the A-League this season, something has got to be wrong. Meanwhile, Western United and Melbourne City continue their slump at the bottom. We have made it into the A-League final, taking down Newcastle 3-1. And for the second time in club history, we win an A-League title and we do it by beating Wellington in the final. Unlucky, Nick. You're just our bogey side at the moment. But that is our second A-League title down one to go. Also, what a side from Elijah Just. 26 goals. My man is an absolute rep. 80 overall as well. My man's a revelation. In the words of the mighty Thanos, one to go. I should really be putting an infinity stone into like my hand like I do that. I just go, one to go. Philip Kanaka is the first man out of the club here in this fifth season as we send the young Australian defender to Shanghai Shenhua. Also going to get rid of another young defender, Tas Mutakardis. He's decent in real life for us, I would say. Hasn't had that much game time, to be honest, this year, now that I think about it. But we are sending him to Heidenheim. And we're also parting ways with Johnny Katrumbus as the former Newcastle Jets and now currently Western Sydney defender is off to Dijon for 1.1 mil. And all of that has been done so that we could absolute pull pennies together to bring Harry Sutar to Australia. Bringing Harry Sutar, the absolute, like, he is so damn tall, six foot seven. We're bringing him to the Western Sydney Wanderers from Stoke City for 12.8 million pounds. And so as we are in our quest for a third A-League title, this is the team that we have on the park. This might be, in terms of overall, the strongest team in A-League history. So many high 70 rated players back us in there with the captain's armband. We've got Stutar, 77 rated, Southwood, 75. This team is class. Mate, imagine if we went two full A-League seasons without a loss. Currently, we're on track for it. Also, Gamba Osaka did win the Asian Champions League this season as they beat Al Ittihad. They lost another final Al Ittihad. We were in the Champions League this time, but we got eliminated in the group stages in what was a ridiculous group. Gamba Osaka obviously won the Asian Champions League, and then Al Halal and Guangzhou Grand Grande if you know the Wanderers, you know how much we hate these two clubs. They are two of the teams we beat on our way to the Champions League title in 2014. They were in our group as well. That is definite. That is beyond a group of death. To put it in to European footballing terms, this is like having Manchester City, PSG, and like, I don't even know who Gamba Osaka would stack up to. Like, Leon or something, although they did win the Champions League. So I guess you could say Liverpool in the same group, like three juggernauts of Asian football in the group with us. Oh my God. Remember earlier in the season when I said, what if we went two full seasons without a loss? 
Well, we've done that. We finished 24 points clear at the start of the, at the top of the league and have gone two seasons without a single loss. Meanwhile, Brisbane Raw, another bottom of the table finish for them. But we are going to watch the finals here to see if we can get the job done. If we need one more A-League title to complete the rebuild. Newcastle Jets are who we verse in the semi-final. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, looking to get ourselves for a back-to-back -back a league title we haven't lost the game in two years i would be super upset if we started here we're at combank stadium we're gonna simulate and tate russell the main man tate russell the right back himself is gonna give us the winner in the 112th minute look at the nine shots to two and Newcastle almost pull off the upset, but we are into the A-League final once again. There is no Wellington Phoenix to verse this season. It is the Central Coast Mariners, the team that in our first season back in 2012 beat us in the A-League final at the old Allianz Arena, the old SFS. I was at that game. I was heartbroken. But now, let's go see if we can right 2012's wrongs and win our third A-League title. Bank Stadium's been a fortress for us in this rebuild. Let's make it just that again. Come on, Western Sydney. Come on, get that third title. Get that third toilet seat. Play that one through. Nicely done there. Just getting in front of the defense. Need somebody coming in there. Let's just pop it up. He comes through. Oh, Swartz. Swartz just pops it up and runs through the defense. And it's going to give us the early goal. It's not going to be a nil-nil like the Asian Champions League final. We take the lead. Get a second goal. Russell, needs some support. Let's just burst in. That's actually a good run from him. Go, get, oh my God, I wanted the follow up. Go on, feed it. Oh, let's get back, it's in the middle. Zwartz, Zwartz, step overs, lay it. Beautiful, Genru. Oh, Kenny, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful football. The skills, the passing, the finish, and now we double our lead. Do not let them get a goal back here before half time. That's easy for Southwood. Hasn't been challenged. Like the Champions League final. One minute. Let's just feed this down the line and see if we can... Oh my god, look at the space. Come on. Get a third goal before half time. I see the man at the back post. is going to be Swartz. Laying it off there. Balua, what a save from the Mariners keeper. Holy crap. Good overlapping run. Yes, Balua. Come on, mate. Balua, I see you in the middle, Swartz. I see you. Oh, I see you. Go, go. Oh, cleared away. General. Denny. Let's it fly! Oh my god! 3-0! Denny has a brace! And we are in cruise control in front of the RBB to get a third A-League title. Come on, I want four. This has been br this team is actually cooked. Like this team is it's a different level. That's a ball and a half. Just holding it up. Just! Oh, he sent that defender off to the shops! I think it was Tonyik, the former Wanderers defender, has been so Sold a dream there. I want this one right on the head of Harry Suter. The big fella. The big fella tipped over. Come on. There it is, lads. We have won an A-League title. We dominate the Central Coast Mariners. And now five seasons in charge of Western Sydney. We bring the mighty Wanderers back to the juggernaut we deserve to be. An Asian Champions League title and three A-League titles. This is the most fun I have doing a rebuild. Doing... Your own favorite team is actually quite fun. But lads, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. And enjoy the Asian Champions League or A-League title celebrations. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.